Hi, my name is Sam Gordon. Welcome back to the my Gloomhaven solo four-player level one challenge. I think next in our docket will be to go to the element plane of element of power. Now that we've got the frozen hollow done, and our plan is to pursue the plane, the demon quest line for a little bit. After this one, I think it's 21. No, not 21. Um, I think it's Temple of the Elements after this one. But our our plan is to do that, and be, hopefully between these two scenarios. The mine thief has had enough time to gather enough gold and will retire. Um, the goal is to get to prosperity level 2 before helping the demons. Because when you help the demons, it really hurts the prosperity level. Fortunately, you can't go below your current prosperity level. So if, uh, if we reach 2, then we can't go below 2. At least that's the plan. Um, if our city events or something like that gives us prosperity, then we might have to readjust what we're planning to do here. But for now, that is the, the route we're going to take. So, uh, we'll, so we're back in Gloomhaven, and let's do a city event. Relaxing for the evening at the Sleeping Lion, a shifty-looking man approaches you, hand outstretched. In it are a pair of pale white dice with crude marks scratched on them. Greetings, friend. You look like you could stand to liven things up a bit. Care for a quick game of bone dice with me? I'm sure we can make it interesting. His other hand puts a coin purse at his side. Pats a coin purse at his side. Option A, play with game of the man. It may prove to be a good time or refuse the game of dice. Well, if I had the scoundrel, I'd say let's play because he's, you know, the shifty character. Is the mind thief going to be good at playing dice? Like, you know, not the sunkeeper. Sunkeeper's all like goody goody two shoes. Spellweaver, maybe manipulate it. I doubt the Tinker being. Uh, I'm gonna say yeah. Let's go. Let's try that with the Mind Thief. Uh, reputation greater than negative five. Yes. Oh, it's reputation based. I guess if you have lower reputation, then it'd be like okay. Anyway, uh, you get into the game, but after a few rounds, your enthusiasm wanes as the man displays a streak of luck that can only be described as uncanny. You leave the table empty-handed. Five gold each. Gosh darn it. And because it goes back to the deck, I don't get to see what the other side is. So that's... Alright. Uh, so we lose five gold apiece. Sunkeep... Oh, that sucks. Well, it's going to make it harder for the Mind Thief to get to their goal. And you don't have five gold to loot. So good thing we bought items before that, right? Just taking a stock of what we got here. Yeah, it's unfortunate too because we were hoping to get you some more stuff, but anyway. We're done in Gloomhaven, so at what point do we start donating to the sanctuary? When we have enough gold. When when um when the spellweaver probably gets Well then I would want to start enhancing, I think, almost. Ah, we'll we'll figure it out some other day. As you walk down a dirt path, you see a hard-looking mercenary sitting at a patch of grass. He nods as you pass. Hey, friends, he says. There is something off about his tone, though. I don't suppose one of you might be willing to part with the stamina potion, would you? I'm headed toward Gloomhaven, but I've just come such a long way, and I'm not feeling too good about the stretch I have left. With the clank of the sword sheath against his armor and a loud groan, the man stands up. I'll pay you well for it. So the man of stamina potion actually... The Tinkerer has a stamina potion that she has not sold yet. That is perfect. Yes, of course I will sell you a stamina potion. Pay one collective minor stamina potion, which is this. Gain time to collective gold. Uh, after some oddly tense negotiations, you're able to agree upon a price. With one hand firmly on the sword hilt, the man... Wait, the man grabs a coin pouch with the other hand and extends it towards you. You exchange goods and continue on your journey without further incident. Gain 10 collective gold. Otherwise, you don't give him a stamina push and then you read the bottom, which is what? Just go on. No effect. Okay, figured. And 10 collective. Yeah, here's a okay, scoundrel. You could negotiate more. Got it. 10 collective gold. Well, as much as I want to give it to the Tinker, the Tinker is pretty well off right now. I think I'm actually going to feed it into the Mind Thief. Duh, what am I talking about? Mind Thief. The one that needs the gold to retire. <laughs> okay, so we'll delete that. And then we'll save. 
Okay. Why are there two items over here yet? Interesting. You're not, you don't like going in this deck for some reason. You go out, but you won't come back in. What the hell? That's, that's kind of annoying. All right. Anyway. So we've reached the plane of Ele Elemental Power. Basically, we went back to this decaying crypt and went through the portal is that's how that goes so the goal of which is to kill all enemies my son is trying to get into the room <laughs> your vision shifts and blurs around you Nightmarish wailing pierces your ears. You feel your extremities stretching out as if the universe is trying to tear you apart. And then it stops. You open your eyes to see your feet are on solid ground. But around you whirls strange elemental energies. Fire mixing with ice and torrential power. You catch your breath and glance back, relieved to see a void of darkness similar to the one that brought you to this place. The relief is short-lived, however, as a booming voice fills the crackling air. Who are you to slay my servants and invade my realm? This affront will not go unpunished. Before you, the energies in the air begin to form vague demonic shapes. To go deeper into this unearthly place, you must fight your way through. So there's no special things. It's just kill all enemies, which we can certainly try to do. Uh, wow. Elite and fire demons, flame demons... These guys just have a lot of health and hit hard, and flame demons have shield. Not a whole lot of health, but the shield and retaliate. Well, I guess they're normal, so never mind. There isn't retaliate. Just a ton of shield, which, okay. Where are our figures? Right here? Oh, I never adjusted the size of the Sunkeeper. Okie dokie. Uh, I guess we should do battle goals first. Okay, loot a treasure tile. Uh, there is a treasure tile somewhere. I suppose we could let you do that again. Use no items. I suppose that's not that hard either, but... <sighs> have one of our monsters. That's a good one to try for. Take only long rest, not so much. Take only short rest. That's pretty easy. Just means you can't get your couple items back, but that's all right. Gain seven or fewer experience again as the Sun Keeper. <laughs> um, well, I guess if we don't do the retaliate thing. Because that's three right there and the defensive stance is four. And then we have to be cautious about how much we use that. You know, I mean, it's it's nice because it's two check marks, but it is kind of a pain. Unless we just, you know, get rid of one of those and just do support because, yeah. Full support me like heal. Heal all allies range for one health. That's actually quite significant. Um, who haven't chosen yet? You use no items. And they're all triggerable, so I get to choose, and I would just have to not use it. Um, the bows are really nice for the flame demons because it ignores the armor. And I have a feeling we're going to see more flame demons up. One enemy type that we don't see here are the sun demons. There will be some sun demons coming up. I don't think they have shield though. I don't I don't remember if they have shield. Oh, technically you're only gonna be around for two more scenarios. I think I'll go for let looter treasure tile. So we'll try to give you that treasure tile then. Just seems more more doable, more easy. Okay, so how do we want to arrange this? This guy's going to hit someone no matter what, so I'll probably want to make it the Sun Keeper. Easiest way to do that is to go here. Um, okay, dokie. So, probably want to get your defensive stance going, given you're going to take a lot of hits. There's that. Uh, battle of Earth, probably. There we go. And then for top action, um,. We could bless the spell weaver and then she wouldn't have to get her goggles back right away. 
Ah, uh, but that's really two slow cards, though. I need to go quick. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, about that quickness. Oh, here's a 20. Yeah, that's that's quick. There we go. Just get those two going again. Um, because this is only melee attacks. Yeah, so I won't trigger on the, the Flame of Demons range attacks. Hmm, that's, that's an interesting. Affect all adjacent allies. So it would strengthen all of them. If I, well, uh, you might be taking a hit spell here. If I go over here and strengthen all of them, that would actually be pretty good. What do I want for a top then? Do I have anything useful for a top? Bless, I guess. And it's only affecting an ally, but you know, I could bless um, the spell weaver. Is there anything else I would want to do? A heal, maybe? Well, just do a double bless. Strengthen and then um, strengthen all allies and then bless and strengthen. So then I could have it set up this way and then have the mind thief, well. I could have the mind thief starting here and I could also bless the tinker then. But that means the tinker getting, or sorry, the strength of the tinker. But then the tinker would be getting the bless. I know I'd much rather have it the other way. The spell weaver needs to be here, otherwise she can't reach them both. It needs to be in one of these two. That's why, I, what's wrong with this? I mean, it's kind of, it, it's six of one, really. It's the same. Nah, I think I'd rather have a defensive stance. Okay, Mind Thief. Make you go late. Get your augment out. You shouldn't be taking any damage. Just trying to get it so maybe the Earth Demon runs up so the Mind Thief doesn't have to move, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, so then just something to move, really? We could muddle him, right? Because the Earth Demon will go up, and then we go one, two, three, four. Ah, but then we can't attack, duh. Next turn we can generate the ice with that bottom. Uh, bottom attack, what do we want? Um... I guess just... This, we'll just do that. And we'll use, use the initiative, just make sure we go late. Spellweaver, since we don't have crackling air, in fact we... I need to make that switch permanent. I'm gonna write that down, just... We gotta make the Sunkeeper smaller. And remove Crackling here. There are a couple of classes that'll produce Crackling Air, but we don't have either of them right now, so... Um... They are a little spread out, so we will do this. And where we're standing is great, which means we could do that as a bottom. Because then I can, um, worst case, melee attack the uh, the other guy. Or should I heal? Should I plan to heal? As I, I heal bottom here. Um... Let the Tinkerer do it. Tinker does Tinker does nice triangle attacks like that, and that's not going to happen, so we'll let the Tinkerer heal. Heal all allies? Probably won't need the all allies part. Where's your heal bottom? Where's your heal bottom? There it is. So, once again, we'll make you go late. So everybody's going to go late, except for the Sunkeeper. Sunkeeper's going to go quick. Okay. 
Solo mode, start round. Sunkeeper, flame demon, flame demon are moving and attacking. And wounding, ooh, well then good thing I've got this heal going. I'll have to heal something next turn then. And you're attacking range, so the earth demon's not moving. Oh, that that's unfortunate. <laughs> Well, damn. That means the Sunkeeper can't... Uh, well, the Sunkeeper wasn't planning to attack. But, uh, so anyway, Sunkeeper goes first. And she activates both. Which means she gets one experience. Okay, next is the Flame Demons. They are both attacking two and wounding. Well, one, two, th one, two, three... One, two, three, 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 four. So this one is going to attack both of these, and this one's going to attack the Sun Keeper and the Spell Weaver. So, because the Spell Weaver is quicker, so the same distance. So they're, these both are attacking these two. So number one, we're going to attack minus two. So they only do one damage, but... So we'll probably need to make the Tinkerer heal the Spell Weaver then. Anyway, so it's one damage, two targets. So one damage to the Sunkeeper, nothing. And one damage to the Spellweaver, two damage to the Spellweaver, of course. One damage to the Sunkeeper, and one damage... God damn it. Okay, so they both got wound. And that's the Flame Demons. Now the Spellweaver goes. The Spellweaver loses a health from the wound. Now I do kind of wish I played the heal, but... Can't be helped. Alright, well, let's... We got a couple of flame demons. Let's pop the piercing bow. So now it's three damage, and they've only got three health with advantage. I don't think I'll need the power potion yet. Because it's going to be a little bit of an overkill. So we'll save the power potion. We will pop the eagle eye goggles so we have advantage. And then we're going to be generating fire. So let's do... The Earth Demon first, get the bad stuff out of the way. Minus one or plus one. So one, two, three, four. And then we'll do this demon. Plus one or zero, so that one dies. And times two or plus one, so that one dies as well. So good, you got rid of the Earth or the, the Fire Demons. Before we kill this, who is aggressive? Was that the Spellweaver again? Okay. So that's lost, and now you will attack. Oh good, now it's actually in an... Um, Minus one, so it's only one damage, but at least it wasn't muddled, right? Discard. Okay. Next is the Earth Demon. The Earth Demon is attacking range for three damage. And the spell the Sunkeeper went first, so three damage. Minus one, so that's two damage. So it's one damage after the shield, and zero damage with that. Now the Tinkerer goes. The Tinkerer is going to pop potent potables, and then heal for five damage. Because it's the, the heal bottom here. Two, oh, sorry, two plus two, so four damage to the spell Spellweaver, and remove the wound. Spellweaver is no longer wounded. All right, now the the rat goes. Hmm? Rat's gonna move up two with this, and then attack for three damage. Plus zero, good. One, two, three. Okay, and round. So we do have fire, uh, which means we could. You're, you are adjacent to the Sun Keeper, so you could go quick and heal the Sun Keeper. Mind Thief, we probably want to make you go quick. Um, stunning it wouldn't be a bad idea. This would get the frost out for the stun, at least. Sunkeeper, you're gonna move up and whack it, probably. 
whatever. <laughs> I suppose you could strengthen someone. Now, okay, so the, the Mind Thief has it covered as far as, um, has it covered as far as stunning it goes, so muddling it's not going to help a lot. We just need to move. We only need to move one space for her. She's already adjacent to the, the guy, so anything will move. Um, maybe this get some blesses out. Okay, and then Tinkerer. Um, I really I, I need a minor heal. That's okay. So this is the minor heal. That's right. So this is gonna heal off the Sunkeeper's wound before she goes. And then Tinker probably just attack and poison it. Well, I was gonna say the Mind Chief sh should have poisoned it last time, but too late. Well, we could poison it this time and then have you move. Did someone have to get a certain amount of coins? No. Good. Okay, so it doesn't matter who gets coins really, but um, should we open the next door already? I mean, the sun keeps going to whack it. You're going to whack it twice. Well, no, you're only going to whack it once. You're going to whack it once. So it's like th one damage, three damage, four damage. And if you hit it, hmm. It might, I might have to tinker open up the next door just to keep aggressive going. So we'll use you as the poison and then we'll use you as the move four. And see what's in the next room at least. All right, I think we're good. Start on. Uh, flame demons are non-existent. Earth demons are moving, attacking all adjacent enemies. Okay. Yeah. And they're going last. Spellweaver goes first. The Spellweaver is going to use the bottom to heal the Sunkeeper to remove the wound. And then she's going to burn the fire to do a three damage attack against the Flame Demon. Plus zero, so one, two, three. Okay, next is the Mind Thief. The Mind Thief is going to use this as a move three. I guess you could open the door. We need to get you coins, though. You're going to move three. Get the coin, and then attack for one damage. Stun. Plus zero, so one damage. Da, 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 stun. And also you generate frost. Ice. Next is the Tinkerer. Tinkerer is going to attack for... Are you already ranged? One, two, three. Yeah, good. Okay. Tinker is going to attack for two damage and poison. Three damage and poison. Yeah, like I said, we're going to have to open up this door. Otherwise, we'll lose aggressive. And generates leaf. And then we'll use the bottom of this to move four and open the door. Earth Demon. Earth Demon. Flame demon, sun demons. Okay. Do sun demons have shield? They do. Not a whole lot of shield. Their thing is that they attack advantage. Right. Okay. And then we got to set up the rest of the stuff. We got hazardous. Hazardous. And three sets of traps. Oh, wait. I think uh, the, the sun demons are flying too. Yeah. So the only way to trigger the trap is to jump over them or run through them. <laughs> uh, which do we do. Now we need to draw for the flame demon and the sun demon. Sun demon are moving and targeting all enemies and the flame demon are just moving and creating a damage trap. Okay. Tinker is done. So next we go back down the list. The flame demon goes next. And they got less movement, so they're moving. It's just two normal ones. Two normal ones. They're moving two. Moving two and then creating a four damage trap in an adjacent empty hex closest to the enemy. Okay. So they're moving two. Wait. Uh, sorry, this one goes first. They're going to move two. Create a four damage trap in an adjacent tile. They're all four because the snarl level makes it four. And then you're going to move two. 
and you don't have an empty hex. So unless that no 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 okay. Uh, Flame demon tinker went. Now the sun demons go. The sun demons are they got a movement of two, and they're generating light for me. Aren't they sweet? And attacking all adjacent enemies, which there aren't any. And they generated light. So my Sun Keeper actually has something to use. <laughs> which means I'll be getting experience for that, which isn't great. But uh, So Sun Keeper is going to move one. Bless the Spell Weaver. And then attack using the light. Attack for 5 damage and advantage. I forgot. Uh, I forgot to use the, the Mind Thief again. Minus 1 or plus 1, so 5, 6 damage. Bloop. Good job, Sunkeeper. Yeah. And then the Sunkeeper also gets an experience of that. <laughs> Do I need anything from you yet? No. Well, remember to use the Stamina Potion this time, I hope. <laughs> Sunkeeper, oh, and then the, what, the flame demons have two? Oh, that's right, because the, the, a card got drawn before, so, anyway. Uh, Earth demon, they have zero movement. Oh, no, wait, one's elite. One's elite. So the elite one will actually get to move one. Hey, Tinker, you got a nice set of three to attack here. And that's the round. Okay, uh, so the Sun Keeper, you need to get moving. So whatever move you got here, and probably attack stun something. So I'll get you going as quick as you can. Okay, Mine Thief, you now have a stun as well. And we'll probably make you do your big jump thing. Just so you can get in there. Move four jump, one, two, three, four, which allows you to get here, but it wouldn't be bad if the Sun Keeper could stun one and you could stun the other. Spell Weaver. Um, I kind of want to use you and you because you got a lot of targets again, but um, you just might have to play support this round. So we'll make you go late-ish and heal. Move and jump. Just move. It's a range 3 heal, so... And that's just going to be used as a move. And then the Tinkerer! Like I said, we got a nice big 3 pocket here. In fact, you could wound them all, which would be really good for the Sun Keepers. Because they got that shield. Better on the Flame Demons, because of their shield, but... Not going to really get an opportunity like that again. Just hope that they don't move, basically. And then we'll do... There won't be any allies to heal. 17 or 20? I don't want to waste the stun. 19! That looks good. Then I can swap it if I need to. Alrighty then. Let's look. Mind Thief, or Tinker, Mind Thief, Sun Keeper, then the Sun Demon. Wow. Flame Demon is targeting all adjacent enemies. Thankfully... Nobody is adjacent to them. That's the thing about the flame demons. They don't move a whole lot. Now I'm debating on whether or not I want to leave that frost there. Because they'll be damaging themselves. There isn't any wind, unfortunately. And you won't be healing yourself. So, good. Okay. So, Tinker gets to go first. Uh, since they didn't move, I think it would be best to do this. Move up with this one. And then we'll be using this 3 damage wound, and we might as well pop everything. We get 2 shielded targets, so we'll do that. We'll pop this so it's 4 damage wound. 4 damage advantage wound. So 4 damage advantage wound. Might as well get some wound tokens out. Sun demons are particularly bad because they do a lot of healing too, not just themselves. So, uh, 4 damage wound, 
six damage. I was attacking the flame demon first, sorry. Just going front to back. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll do this, uh, that one. Number one is plus zero, so one, two, three, four. Again, ignoring shield. And then this last one, one, two, times two, so that's eight. Which means that that one will die on its turn. Cool. Just too bad it wasn't the elite, but uh, it wouldn't have killed the elite. It'll kill the, that one at least. Okay. So that's burned this. We burn or we made some fire. And then this is burned. Lost. Okay. Now the mine thief gets to go. You get, you can run up and stun something. Oh, uh, you want. I forgot, this augment's actually active. We played that turn one, duh. So this is a five damage attack. We definitely want to get in there and hit something. So what is hitting the hardest? You'll hit for three, you'll hit for five. Oh, I don't think I can reach that though. I can if I take half trap damage. And then I could stun this guy at least. My Sun Keeper does get to go before and my Sun Keeper has the move four, so she'll be able to go one, two, three, four, five. So the Sun Keeper will be able to come in here and at least tank this one, but this one's still gonna hit the Tinkerer. This one's gonna die, so if I make you take some trap damage, it's hazardous terrain is half trap damage. One, two, three, four, five, six. And so the Mind Thief will take two damage. And then the Mind Thief will burn the frost because we want that stun to do three, four, five damage and poison because why not? Five damage and poison to this guy here. Plus one, so six damage. Uh, well, that cancels out the shield, so just five damage. One, two, three, four, five. And that is now poisoned and stunned. And now I should use the one that says Something about uh, do extra damage depending on how many abilities you have. <laughs> that knocked it over. Interesting. Alright, so let's discard, discard, and then we are going to remember to use the stamina potion this time. I'm not entirely sure what I want. The nice quick stun bottom wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm gonna, so I'm going to be going quick next turn. The flame demons, I'll have to check what they're doing again, but I, th I think I might save the invisible then. And um, so if that's going to be my bottom. What do I want my top to be? I am next to the sun demon. What do I have in my hand? There's this condition thing, so that'd be four damage. That's probably what I want to do. So then uh, just get back the jump for something else. And let's see, let me check the flame demons again. Flame demons are, that's earth demon. Flame demons are targeting all adjacent enemies. Yeah, so they're not, so I think I'll just leave the, uh, the mind thief where she is. And okay, and next is the sun keeper. The sun keeper also has an attack stun, so the sun keeper will be able to defend um, her. One, two, three, four, five. And then she'll do, that's this one. And she had to use her boots to do that. And so she'll attack to this Earth Demon and stun it. Times two, so four damage. Oh, that didn't quite work. Okay. And then... That's all the Sun Keepers got. Now, Sun Demon... Well, they're... This one is stunned and will take a damage. This one takes a damage and dies. Okay, now the flame demons attack adjacent. There's nothing adjacent, so their turn is skipped. There's no frost anymore. And then the earth demons go. The elite one is stunned, and so the elite one will just take a damage from the wound. And then the normal one will attack the sun keeper for three damage. 
two damage. One damage with the defensive stance and zero damage with this. And then she gets an experience and this retaliate two will hit the earth demon. All right, last but not least, the spell weaver gets to go. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, I think only herself and the Mind Thief have taken damage, so we'll make her move two. And I guess heal three herself, because everybody else is at full. Alright, that's the end of that round. So for this round, the Mind Thief needs to go quick to stun something. Um, unfortunately, she's adjacent to this one, but if we do stun this one and do one damage even, this thing will die on its next turn, so it's not a big deal. Tinker, you need to get out of there, at least go slow enough so the Earth Demon hits the Sun Keeper. Um, although probably getting out of there wouldn't be a bad idea with the Flame Demons here. What do I want you to do? So if we make you go quick, you can uh, attack for extra damage because there's two conditions on her, or on the mind there, on the ah, the sun demon. So I should be able to kill it, and then you can also then stun the earth demon maybe if the flame demons aren't doing anything too too gnarly. Sun keeper, what do we want you to do? You don't have any real attack tops. This is your biggest move right now allow you to move two so you can move around which we want to do anyway so you're gonna have, uh, that wouldn't be a bad idea um strengthen who do who who would we strengthen it's range three so if the spell weaver went quick enough and moved up the spell weaver could get uh, could get strengthened we know the spell weaver is four range. But you're not going to go very quick. Um, anyway. Two of their discarded cards. You know, that might not be a bad idea for a top. One adjacent ally may remove or recover up to two of their cards. That would be Tinkerer, then. Like I said, that would be good for the Spellweaver. I don't really want to give that to the Tinkerer or anybody else. And you probably won't need a heal by the time you go. You'll need a heal next turn. So we'll just do that, then. Oh, t uh, Tinker, what are you doing? You're currently adjacent to this guy. The Sun Keeper has a twin. What? What the hell? Weird. I couldn't target that one. Uh, so it's twenty-three. So if you just got you just gotta go to, uh, later than twenty-three. Two target might not be a bad idea. Pull not so much. Well, if you go quick enough, you could. Now nah, the Sun Keeper was planning to blast or to do uh defensive maybe a stun and so if the sun sun keepers moving up you can go around them or you can follow you have jumping boots you can jump around jump around jump around but I want I would want you to go later than that something like that sure we'll go with that Flame Demon's got a three, and Sun Demons are healing. Oh, great. Flame Demon are moving attacking. Oh my god. Remember that thing about the Mind Thief being fine? Because, <laughs> uh, so the Flame Demon's got, what, two damage? And they're both going to be attacking the Mind Thief. So two damage, 
zero and two damage. Okay, Mind Thief can handle that. In fact, the Mind Thief has this thing to prevent one of the damage. All right, now the Mind Thief gets to go. Now you don't have to worry about those. I said that last time, I know, but um, we're gonna have the Mind Thief attack two plus one for each negative condition on the target. There's two conditions, and then there's also the augment for two. So this is a six damage attack. Plus zero, plenty. All right, so the Sun Demons are not going to be healing. They actually didn't get to attack at all, did they? Because I, I just saw their advantage. I'm like, oh wait, did I forget to advantage? No. All right, so that's that card. Now we can uh, probably want to stun the Earth Demons, given what they're doing. The Earth Demon. Well, the Earth Demon's going to go last, and they're both going to target that's Sun Keeper, so still probably a good idea to do that. So it's going to be range 2, 1 damage, stun, 2 damage, and generates frost, and that's it. Okay, Sun Demons are dead. And that was a shuffle, so I will shuffle it already. Now the Sun Keeper gets to go. Just baiting to get like a, a nice little attack on this, which would kill it. Nah, okay, so we'll do the, the top to let you recover two. So the poison and heal bottom. And then we'll use this as the move three or technically move two to go over here. Good. Tinkerer is next. Well that earth demon's stun. We could stun that one, I guess. Or we could have you attack both. Uh this is what I move four. So you'd move one, two, three, four, and what's the range on that? Three? Yeah, so you could attack both, why don't we? Get moving here. So use that as a move, we're gonna leave the stun alone, and just do two damage piece. Starting with the elite, two damage, and the non-elite. Cool. I'll take it. Now it's a spell weaver, and then it finishes up with the um, Earth Demons. So you have a move four, which means you could go one, two, three, four, and you could whack the uh, Elite yet. Either of them was the move four, we didn't have to jump or anything, so just melee two damage. Plus one, three. One, two, three. Alrighty then. What are your battle goals? Aggressive, only short rest. I haven't even gotten to that part yet. Looted treasure tile, and you were experienced. Okay. Alright, so we didn't burn anything of yours. Weren't we gonna have you flip your. Uh, well, I will leave it now, I guess. Um, I was gonna have him cloak, I think, but whatever. Uh, so then the Earth Demon goes. The Earth Demon moves. He's only got one movement, and then he's going to whack this the Sun Keeper here for two damage. Three damage. So, two damage. And then he's going to consume an element to generate. And I think I'm going to have Frost get tri- No, 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 I want Frost. Sorry. Have the Fire... Oh, we could wound something. Um, all right, frost, and then that goes into earth. Yeah, if he had one more movement, he'd go here and then be able to whack two of them. But he only has one movement, that's why he does that. Okay, that's the round. Mind thief, you're kind of in a predicament again. 
Are you adjacent to anything right now? No. And we didn't take the move top, did we? Nope. I'll come back to you. Sunkeeper. I don't think you're going to move. We'll just make you go quick enough and do something. Spellweaver, you need to rest. That is probably the perfect card to lose. We want to wound something this round. Where are you right now? Having that move jump would be a bad idea. We want to wound something, probably want the flame demons, but we also need to go one, two, three. We need to open that door. Unless you lose the aggressive, which two two check marks is significant. You know, we could just do that and then invisible here. Um one two three four well we can't really get very far with that how about just the regular move then tinker we need to heal something probably uh so the poison heal bottom that's a range three which means we will be able to cover the mind thief just in case then you can attack poison the other flame demon and mind thief we're back to you again what do we want you to do oh sorry that earth demon took two damage back retaliate mind thief probably want to track down those well you have a heal self here so you could whack one of the flame demons not all that damage, but you know. Uh, so do that, and it's considering this, but no, we'll just do this as a base two attack, I think. All right, let's see what we got. Start round. Flame demon, you are just moving and attacking, and the earth demon's also moving and attacking. Okay, first is the mind thief. Does the Spellweaver go before the Flame Demons? No, but they're generating fire, so you'll get to do that regardless. So we will make the Mind Thief move and heal self for two. And then we'll base two attack this Flame Demon. Three, oh, sorry, it's four, so five damage. And they have three shield. Oh, that's sad. Almost. There's a whole nother room left. Hmm. Nah, we'll 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 be we'll be safe. We'll make you invisible this round. Okay, so Tinker is next. Uh, you were going to heal, but I realized that she, uh, she could heal herself. So we will heal the tank because the tank will need it. Which pops this, unfortunately. And then we'll attack. Because you're going to attack 3 damage to this guy and wound it. The, other, the alternative is that we have you attack this one and wound that one, guaranteed. Nah, okay, well, oops. So we'll use you, attack 2 damage, poison. Ah, oh, it's just unfortunate. Um... We can leave one up, right? Someone's someone's gonna be able to do some damage. So we'll, we'll do this one, just to help the spell weaver, and then those two should be able to kill that one for sure. So two damage poison and leaf, which leaf. And two damage poison. So zero damage, but poison. Which will help both the spell weaver, okay. Uh, yeah, so I want to be able to kill that one anyways, okay. Spellweaver, or not, sorry, um, Flame Demons. Three attack and generating flame. You're going to be attacking this one. One, two, three, one, two, three. You're also going to be attacking this one. So the Tinker's taking two hits for three damage piece. Two damage and three damage. One, two, one, two, three. Okay. Spellweaver is next. She's going to have to move one, two, three, four. 
to get within range to this. She's going to be using the fire that was just newly created to do a 3 damage wound to this thing. Check for advantage just in case, but nope. 3 damage wound. So, for the poison, wait, cancels one of it, so one damage gets through with the poison and then wound. Yeah, so she didn't quite have enough. God darn it. Sunkeeper's next. Sunkeeper, you're not going to be able to move at all. This is only range... Oh, that's range 3. Huh, how about that? Alright, well then maybe you'll be able to finish that one off. You also have a heal here. Um, I don't think it would have needed it now, though. I was originally thinking yourself, but... Oh, the Tinker. Duh, Tinker. Uh, so we'll heal 3 the Tinker. Generate a light. And then do attack two, range three muddle. One, two, three to this guy. Plus one, so attack three muddle. Damn it. That one were poisoned, it would have died. <laughs> okay, now the Earth Demon goes. The Earth Demon attacks for two damage. Four damage to the Sun Keeper, and then takes two back and retaliate. 4 damage uh, is only 3 after the defensive stance. And this triggers again, which means that. Alright, that's the round. So we gotta do 4 damage to this one technically, which the Mind Thief should be able to do. We gotta do 4 damage, 3 damage to this one technically, because the poison. And this one will die. So one, two, three, four. Spellweaver, you can certainly open the door by yourself. And we'll make you... Given I'm going to be kind of ranged of anything, no matter what. Well, let's, let's go quick, open the door, just to make sure. You have a cloak of invisibility, so we'll stick you in the door. Anything melee won't be able to get out. Um, Tinkerer, we really want to kill that stuff. If we kill it, then you can move two up. So we'll just use you and, I don't know, you. Means you're kind of, you're going kind of slow now, but that's going to be fine. Alright, uh, Mind Thief... Worst case, go quick and invisible, because, yeah, you'll be invisible the whole time. And you, Sunkeeper, we'll let you long rest to get that stuff back. Get some stuff back, heal a little bit. Why not? Spellweaver, Mind Thief, Flame Demon. You are guard no fire, so you're just attacking one target in place. Oops. And the Earth Demon, targeting all adjacent enemies and, yeah, gonna push because of the leaf. Although we can consume that with the, the Spellweaver here. Um, so Spellweaver, you have the option, do you want to attack this first or open the door? Um, well, you won't be adjacent to them anyway, so we'll open the door to see what's there. Please? Okay, so we have uh, this enemy type again. You are moving and attacking all enemies and generating light, which is handy. Because my sun keep while well, my sun keeper is resting this turn, but we also need to add the rest of the stuff. The chest is in the corner. There's a ton of this crap, and I think I'll just uh, copy paste it. Something like this goes around. All the hazardous terrain. And there's three coins. Okay, I think that's right. Doop doop. Doop 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 doop. Yep. Sweet. Okay, uh, like I said, the spell weaver went here. And then she's going to... Nothing else is in range, so she'll attack this one to try and kill it. 
Because then the Mind Thief is going to attack this one, right? Yeah, so we'll attack this one then. So we're consuming the Earth. Although, a push from you... Well, a push from you would go straight onto the Hazardous Terrain, which wouldn't be good. So... Yeah, we're going to consume the Earth, just to make sure. And that'll make this a 3 damage attack against this guy. Plus 2, so that's 4, 5, 6 with this. 3 shield, you did it. Good job. And then we'll pop your cloak. Although that Earth Demon... There's two Earth Demons. One of them would have moved, but none of them can get in range. Can these guys... Can anything get in range? Maybe I don't need to pop my cloak, actually. Because you're attacking in place, and your elite's range is 4, and the normals are 3, so you can't reach me. The Sun Demon's movement is 2. You can't reach me, and the Earth Demons can't. Well, screw it. I'm not going to go range or invisible then. Don't need to. Alrighty then. Now it's the Mind Thief. So the Mind Thief is going to use this as a 2 damage attack. 4 with the, um, the Augment. Times 2. There we go. Good job. The invisible wears off, and then we'll use the other thing as a move two to get you going up. Perfect. All right, now is the Sun Demons. The Sun Demons got movement two. Oh, one, two, oh, one, two. Now, the, now it's the Tinkerer. Um, yeah, we basically just gotta move two, so what we'll do is we'll hit the Earth Demon and then move, so three damage to the Earth Demon. Which means when the Earth Demon attacks, it will die, and then we'll make you move two. And grab a coin. Okay, Flame Demon. That one's dead, these don't have anything in range, so they don't do anything. The Earth Demons now go. Uh, the normal one's got a movement of zeros, but the elite one goes first. The elite one moves up one. And then the other one doesn't have an attack. This one does for two damage. Three damage to the Sun Keeper. Um, minus one, so two. So I'll, I should have just left it. Just leave it at seven. And that triggers this, and it dies from the Retaliate. This is where Sunkeeper wishes Sunkeeper had a bottom, or had the bottom move in their deck, this one. It's just so slow, you can't move, and she already has enough movement troubles as it is. Uh, I think you're red. Yeah. Okay, what don't we need? You. Is there really no better card? Than, I mean, I, I take it for the bottom attack. Maybe I should really swap it out with this. Okay, and that's the round. So Spellweaver, you might want to get out of there. Um, might be safer to short rest actually. That's a short resting four, but uh, we'll have some cards to discard if we need to. And might it be time? Wait a minute, there was light. I forgot to generate the light. So there's light. The, the sun demon did it. We could move up. I'm just ah, they're not spaced good. I could hit three of them at least. If I start here, it'd be muddle against them. Move to boom, ba boom, boom, right? Already used the bow, don't have advantage. What's the other option? There really isn't one, so we'll just do that. Tinker, don't have much choice without resting already, but. You at least can get over the trap. Mine Thief, do you have. You have the short rest. 
Uh, that's unfortunate. Um, see, that's tricky. Do I give up the stun? What color are you? White. No, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna leave that. So I'll make you move. Go late and move. I guess. Probably not a bad idea to see what's there first. And attack something. Only the Earth Demons can really be pushed, right? And then we can push them in the Hazardous Train. So if the Earth Demon moves up, we can go blam and push. How much of a push is it? It's a push three. That's actually quite significant. I think we'll do that. Alright, and then... I'm losing a lot of frames, I'm, I'm realizing that now. I've lost, uh... 60 per second, that's like 10 minutes worth? 6,000 frames? Oh, man. 6,000. Take a zero off, six... It's 100 seconds. So that's, what, two minutes worth overall? That... I'm gonna have to start recording locally, which... I don't want to do. Hopefully it's not in too big of areas. I'll have to, I'm gonna have to download and uh, cut out some stuff, and I'll check it then. But that's unfortunate, and I don't know what's going on. What's your biggest move? This one? We use the boots to get, to get there. So that's a four, five, one, two, three, four, five. You're gonna have to trigger that trap. It's a damage trap. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's uh, that's. I can't do anything about it. Um, we could heal yourself, I guess. Take the damage, heal yourself. Okay. And it generates a light. Okay. Let's go. Basically, everybody but the Earth. Uh, I was gonna say there's no more Earth teams, but yeah, there is. So Earth Demons are attacking in place range 4, Sun Demons are moving and attacking range 4, all targets, oh. That's not great. And you are wounding again. Okay, so Tinkerer, you're going to use your move to jump. This is just move 2 and then we're using the boots as a jump. And then you're going to heal three. Was the Sunkeeper topped off? One, two, three. Well, do we want to top the Sunkeeper off first? Okay, we'll, we'll top the Sunkeeper off first. And then use that as a move two to get by the traps. The Spell Weaver. Is that really what we want to do? Or we could consume the light, which would prevent this whole thing from happening. It would just be one target range four instead of all enemies. What's their movement? Their movement would be only one. So who would move? If they move here, one, two, three, four, they would be able to hit all three of you. So I haven't used my cloak yet. What would I do next turn? Are they generating fire? They're using fire. Hmm. I was going to say, if they're generating fire, that'd be nice to get a wound on something, but... I think I might do that just to consume the... Wait, the Sunkeeper's going first, and if she's going to heal herself... I guess I could forego that. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to forego the healing, so we'll use the light. We'll do this one. We'll use the light to do three damage attack, and we'll hit... What was the Mind Thief doing? Mind Thief's planning to jump and attack. So, are you going after the Earth Demons? You are. The Earth Demons are doing what? Not moving. Hmm. Is there any benefit to you standing here then, Spellweaver? This guy's gonna run up and hit something. Probably the Tinkerer. 
So then we'll use you as a move four then. We'll get you in here. Um, one, two, three, four. Because you'll be these guys will be moving up to get in range, and then you can do your big attack next time. Four here. Because then he has to move one, one, two, three, four to hit the mine thief. Can't hit the tinker. You can go. You can't actually reach anything. What if I went here? Well, then this would go like that and do the same thing. But then you... Hmm. I'm really trying to get it so that, that the four go together nicely. So I can get that nice chain attack going, you know? Um... Well, I guess this would push this guy here, at least. And then the Mind Thief would take a hit. If I go here, this guy goes up, and then this one doesn't move and doesn't attack. Actually, this is probably better. Okay, so then Spellweaver's gonna pop her cloak to go invisible. Next is the Sunkeeper. The Sunkeeper's going to use her boots. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and pop the trap for four damage. The other option is I could discard a card. Nah. Okay. Now the flame demons go. The flame demons got a movement of three and a range of three. One, two, three. Uh, elite ones too? Elite ones have a little bit bigger range, but nothing in range. One, two, three, nothing in range. One, two, three, nothing in range. Okay. Flame demons. There's no fire to consume. They're not attacking and wounding anything, which is great. The earth demons are next. They are attacking range four. One, two, three, four. Oh, you dumbass. One, two, three, four. Well, then let's say that you went here then. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. <laughs> no reason to take extra damage. Alright, that's the Earth Demon. Now the Mind Thief gets to go. I was planning to make you run in there, but these Sun Demons are going to just destroy you if you do that. Well, next turn you can go invisible really quickly, I guess. Because your plan was to go one, two, three, four. You could whack this guy and get it out of the way. In fact, you could push it here, which would help the Spellweaver a lot. Because this is further, that's further, that's further. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Alright. So this is four damage. Don't have poison. Had to use. I uh, didn't have to use that because it was only four. Okay. So this is four damage to the elite. All right. One, two, three, four, and then we're gonna push it. One, two, three. Sweet mind thief, and then uh, okay. Uh, sun demon. That's what we're doing. So the Mind Thief decided to take two attacks from the Sun Demon at a lot. So four damage, advantage. Uh, zero, so four damage is the max. She can... Well, the next one's not going to hit as hard, so I think I might actually make her discard for this one. To prevent the damage, and then the next one's going to do two damage. Plus one, so that's three damage. Okay. Alright, that's around. So, Mind Thief, uh, we're going to make you go quick to go invisible, and then um, we get... No, that's the stun. Um, you get the Rat Swarm going, I guess. Burn another card already? Yeah. Well, if we go invisible this time, we can long rest next time and get all this stuff back. Oh, you're short resting one. God damn it. Um... Use this as a move attack. I'm 
going invisible, so I don't care about speed next round. Sunweaver. Sunweaver? God, I keep doing that. Sunkeeper. You gotta use your biggest move. That's the problem with defensive stance. One, two, three. One, two, three. In fact, you're barely gonna get in the door. So we need to do something. Um, probably that. At least will help for next round, I guess. Spellweaver. What was our plan for the Spellweaver? Oh, the Spellweaver's invisible, so we want to make you go late. And hopefully the Fire Demons generate, and we can do that. And Tinkerer. Go in there, and you got a nice two target there, at least. Tinkerer needs to rest. Two target, probably the best one to lose there for her. Where she's standing now, she can't do a whole lot, so she actually will need to move. Um, this move, heal allies one, that is only move two, so that won't actually help. The You're down four. So using a long heal like that, potent potables isn't great. Um, and he's going to be going quick enough anyway, so maybe just attack stun... Well, they just use their range attack, right? So maybe immobilize wouldn't be a bad idea. The flame demons will hit us, but the sun demons would be immobilized then. And just use something as... Although, they've only got two move. You're invisible, or you will be invisible. You are invisible. These guys would start crowding this way, and then maybe we could get um, a better AoE attack. I mean, that's a good AoE attack, but... Um, so if we go later then? Because I'd almost want a long rest to get this back and already use it, but I'm not, what am I, I might have to do this. Do a lot of damage if we can, and then next turn, well. Do a lot of damage, basically, is, is what this means. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna do that. Flame Demon goes first. They're just moving, consuming an element, which there isn't any, and then creating a damage trap. And their base moves three, so they move two. So one, two. Create a damage trap. Uh, one, two. Create a damage trap. One, uh, one two. Create a damage trap. Look at that big clump of guys. Mind Thief. Well, we could... Uh, if we move three, one, two, three, we wouldn't get an attack in. Tinker, you need to get all the way over there. Uh, well, the option... One, two... You could go here and attack. Okay, we'll do that. So it's uh, three damage attack against this guy. Plus zero, one, two, three. And then we're making him go invisible. Mind Thief, the Sun Keeper. Wow, everybody's going really late. Sun Demons are, there's no light to heal themselves and you're just moving and attacking, okay. So Sun Keeper, you're basically just moving three. One, two, three to get to here. Sun Demons, oh, you do have a move too, hmm. Well, if I go here, then the Sun Demon won't attack me. And this one, well, that one will move on the trap. It'll still be a nice clump of three for the Tinker. And then we're going to Bless and Strengthen. Ah, <gasps> perfect! Bless and Strengthen the Tinker. I don't know why I didn't think of that. I didn't realize, I, yeah, perfect. Because the Tinker is about to get a nice big attack off. And being strengthened is awesome. So, there we go. Uh, okay, that's the Sun Keeper. The Earth Demons go. They got a movement of two for the Elite and one for the Knot. So with two movement, this guy, that's an obstacle. We'll go like this, and this one's got one movement. Sun Demons are moving and attacking. 
and healing self, but there isn't any light, so I'm moving two and moving two. Trying to get to the Sun Keeper. Now the Tinkerer gets to go. The Tinkerer has this range three. One, two, three, and line of sight here. If it was here, she wouldn't, but here it does. So she'd be able to hit all three of these guys. Unfortunately, she already used the bow. So with this, she gets one attack, plus one attack. So this is a five damage strengthened attack. It's five damage strengthened. Shuffle for good luck. <laughs> Five damage strength, and let's start with the Sun Demon, why not? Plus one, or times two, so that's ten damage, and the Sun Demon has, I think, one shield. Yep. So nine gets through. And then we'll do this one next. Uh, plus one is six damage, which is enough, because it only has three shield. And then this one. Miss or bless, awesome, so that's... 5, 10 damage. Nice, she one-shot that Sun Demon. Lost. Very, very good. Very good. Those are the types of draws we like to see. Uh, we gotta make sure the Bless gets out, though. That's a Tinkerer. Now the Spellweaver gets to go. There's no fire. <laughs> Damn it. You could do the bottom attack, I guess, but I think it'd almost be better just to run up and melee something. We're going to have to d delay a couple rounds, I think, because the Tinkerer needs to get the Jumping Boots back probably right now. Um, well, she can't. Well, get moving, Tinkerer, if you want that chest. You only got one shield. That's where I'm debating. Do I want to move jump then and then whack something? This is still a nice three damage attack. Um... Yeah, we'll do the three damage attack, even though it's not wound. Miss? Yeah, well, okay. Well, that's this one. And then we'll use this as a move forward jump. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Discard. And around. Okay. Well... You're gonna have to rest somehow. Yep, those are our two fast ones. Well, we still got this 20 fast as well, but. Um... We're not gonna have a whole lot of opportunity to play this. Um, I do kinda wanna go quick and get away so that they go the other way. So the problem if I take too much damage and I have to discard, then I won't. If I burn this, then I won't be able to. Um... So pair this with a move. One well, ah. That's where I was thinking, well, maybe I should have moved here and then I could attack both of them. But this one has Retaliate. I don't want to touch that one. If I can help it. Sunkeeper. Um, you basically, I got a move one. And a shield. I guess. Maybe a stun. You have 285 cards? I didn't realize that. So the, if, the, if this uh, Sun Demon comes up, then you can whack it at least. And then also bless this guy. Okay, that's decent. Tinkerer. I really want to get your jumping stuff going, but um, you're going to have to move quick to get around the Sun Demon here, so um, what's your movement? Do you have a move 4? You do have a move 4, okay. And then attack... I don't know. I suppose you could attack poison this thing and then move up here. This Earth Demon will whack you, but I think you can handle it. Okay, 
Spell Weaver. What was I going to do with you? Probably this. Ah, uh, what's the range on that retaliate? Range 2. If I was, like, here, then I could do that. But, you know, this one just might have to go by the wayside for now. Just use it as a move and then attack. It just might be how it has to be. And Mind Thief, you are... St you were invisible last turn, so we want to make you go last. And getting in a nice stun and maybe even that summon wouldn't be a bad idea. That rat that rat doesn't see enough enough light. Tinker, spell we were flame demon. Flame demons are attacking range. They have less range. Well they always attack range, but they have less range this time. And they're generating fire. And they're going... Oh, they're going after the Spellweaver. Darn. Targeting all enemies in range. Well, guess what? There's no light, so that's not a problem. And you're just... The neutral one is not going to move. Okay. Starting with the Tinkerer. Do I want to get whacked for four from that guy? Um, what's the sun, sun demons doing? The sun demons are moving and attacking range. Um, I guess if I'm there, I'm actually more of a priority than the sun keeper. Hmm. I don't know why I was thinking if I was up here, I'd be safe. But I'm not. We had the jumping boots. Um, I guess you could run through there. No. Could stun it. Um, let's see, the Sun Demon... Sun Demon's going at... No, the, the Sun Keeper can stun it. That's not a big deal. These are both range 3. I could run up and stun this guy, at least. Or I could poison this guy, run up and stun... Or poison this guy so the Sun, sun Keeper might kill it with this. Sure, we'll do that. Okay, uh, so 2 damage, poison, stun, generate leaf. You're gonna generate leaf anyways. Plus zero, so what did I say it was? Three damage? Two damage? So one got by, it's now poisoned. And then I'm gonna use this as a move. One, two, three, I guess. Cause this puts me further away from the chest, this one. I guess it's six of one. Anyway, uh, so we'll do that. Next is the Spellweaver. Um, Spellweaver, what do I want you to do? That thing's only in a range to attack, which means if you attack the Flame Demon, he's going to retaliate you for th three damage? Retaliate? Holy shit. Take one step and burn him. <laughs> yeah, if I'm here, I could still hit him. And then I wouldn't be retaliate. I'm here, I'm the same way. Um, see, this guy is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This one will prefer this guy. This one won't. This one's going to attack the Spellweaver for extra damage. And the three just doesn't even get by a shield. So that's a like almost a complete waste on that. This would help, but... You know, I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for it. So this is going to be my move two from here to here. And then I'm going to use this with my power potion to make this a four damage attack. And we're attacking these two guys. I'm range three, so there's no retaliate. Okay. So starting with the elite, minus two, perfect. And the non-elite plus one. So that's three, four, five to the non-elite, which means we do two damage. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to have happen. And by exactly, I mean not, but you know. Ah, you got enough health. Um, <laughs> this flame demon's going out. They're generating fire. They, let's see, they got less range, so only range three, but that's plenty for you. And you are going to move here to attack the Tinkerer. So, starting with the Elite, the Elite's going to hit the Spell Weaver for four. Miss, perfect. And then you're going to hit the Tinker for four. 
four. Okay. Tinker. What are you doing? Now you can't take a hit from the third demon. <laughs> Alright, that was the flame demon. Now the mind thief gets to go. I suppose... Well, we were, we were going to summon the rat swarm. Right next to this earth demon? The earth demon's going to like one-shot it. Anyway, uh, I will summon it here. And then this... No, we can we can stun it. That's right, we can stun it. So we'll use this, generate frost, one damage, muddle stun against this guy. Uh, minus one, so zero damage, but stun, which is what we want. And then we'll drop a, a summon. Just pick one. Drop the summon right here. Okay, that's my thief. Now the Earth Demon goes. The Elite one's stunned, so it doesn't do anything. And this one is going to whack the Tinker. Because the Tinker served herself up. Four damage, three damage. Can't do. So I need to discard. Three damage? What don't we want? Probably you. Alright, that's the Earth Demon. Now the Sun Keeper gets to go. The Sun Keeper is going to move one. And bless the Tinker. Yeah, good thing the Tinker is there. And then going to 2 damage, attack, stun this guy. Minus 1, so 1 damage. 2 with poison, 1 gets by the shield. So the Sun Demon is stunned. Okay, uh, the Sun Demon is stunned, so we'll remove the stun. And that's the round. Oh dear, uh, Spellweaver, you're kind of in a predicament there, you know? You're not where you should be. Tinker, you took a lot of damage, wouldn't be a bad idea to heal. Oh, you're, you're no longer. Stealth, fortunately this guy's gonna whack that. Um, Mind Thief, what do you have available? Nothing, have the short rest, alright. Okay, so we have move attack and this we could use together in the other direction. This would also poison this guy. Essentially, it's going to lock it down. And then with the move three, it can move around and grab a coin, whack it in the back. Okay, so you, you can pretty much tie it on that one. That's not a big deal. Um, you're going to have to go like this. Hopefully with those two whacking it, we or those two damage, we can kill the sun demon here. Tinker, you need to deal with that earth demon. And by, and by deal with it, I mean get the hell away from it. Sun keeper, you are down a few. So we can move two behind the sun keeper and heal him back up. That would be perfect use of that before. And then I can heal yourself. Sure. I'm not sure if you're going to get that chest, Tinker, unless we just sit around and take some hits from these demons. Mind Thief, Tinker, Sun Demon. Okay. Flame Demons are just attacking normally. Earth Demons are healing, and they're going to mobilize everything. And then the Sun Demons are also healing. There's no sun, though, so it's just one target. Okay. Shit. I don't want this. Well, the Sun Demon is going to heal himself. And would just it would just remove the poison. So it's not that big a deal. Mind Thief goes first. Technically, the Summon goes first. The Summon hits for two damage. One damage. But it's poisoned. And now the Mind Thief is going to go. The Mind Thief... It's poisoned, which means the heal is just going to get removed. So would I rather attack this demon here and poison or stun the demon i think so so we're going to attack one damage this demon and stun it plus zero okay figured so that demon's stun it won't do any damage at least and then we'll go oh one two three grab a coin and attack for two three damage three four damage one two three four 
Okay, that's my thief. Now the tinker. Tinker is going to go. Do I want to get an attack on? I kind of want to get an attack on. But it's just, it's two damage and it's poison. So basically I'd have to draw up zero. Okay, we're going to do it. We're, we're going to use this as a two damage attack. Bless, perfect. <laughs> Thank God for that bless. All right. And then she's going to... This earth theme is just healing himself. Um, she's going to move here. Grab a coin. And heal for two. And then last one of that, four to the Sun Keeper. Uh, I think you're in the way of the Sun Keeper now, though. Oh, no, the Sun Keeper has a move, too, with that. Okay, that's fine. Potent Potables is used up. Alright, that's that one. Sun Demon are all dead. Next is the Spell Weaver. So, Spell Weaver, I'm going to have you go one, two, three, four. Get away from that dude just in case. And then we're going to make you long rest this turn. Spell Weaver, Sun Keeper is next. Sun Keeper is going to move two using that shield bottom um, and then going to use this as just a base two attack against this guy minus one so zero all right that's that flame demon is next thankfully now the sun keeper is in position to take that and that flame demon is going to hit for three damage miss perfect this one loses to the stun the earth demons go, this one heals off the poison, and this one doesn't do anything. Oh, I forgot about the mobilize in this one. Um, shit. Well, that means you're immobilized, you're immobilized. Everybody's immobilized except for the spell weaver. Okay, I'll have to remember that. They're immobilized. Thankfully, those two don't need to move. These two kind of would like to, though. So, end of the round. Everybody's done it at, at, at a... At a speed of 40. Um, so you're long resting. You can't move. So you might as well do this. Go quick and hopefully hit those. Hit the, the couple of fire demons there, I guess. You're long resting. You probably heal self and. Are you in a spot to loot? You could loot, I guess. Alright, and then Sunkeeper, you don't have any cards left, so... Yeah, it kind of sucks, but we'll deal with it. I don't know what else I would want to lose, to be honest, <laughs> instead of that. This metal's not bad. Um, this attack four is probably going to be useful. And we can't move this turn, so... Given we can't move, we'll just do another attack bottom. The Bless isn't bad, but... As long as we're not moving, might as well get an attack in of some sort. Okay, start round. Mind Thief, Tinker, Sun Keeper. Cool, we could go first. They do have flames, so they will be doing the AoE, so that's not great. And you're attacking range. Okay. Which means you're going to be muddled against this thing, which is cool. And you're going to be whacking the Tinker. So, Sun Keeper gets to go first, we'll muddle it. But, anyways, Mind Thief goes first. This one's going to attack that. I forgot what it was already. Two damage. 2 damage, plus 1 is 3 damage, 1, 2, 3, and it's poisoned. Again. Now the Mind Thief gets to go. Um, mind Thief will attack 2 it. Actually, it's a lot more than that. It's uh, attack 4, 5. Good. And then uh, move, quote unquote, and heal himself for 2. Sweet. Next is the Tinkerer. Tinker is going to attack and immobilize those two. Which doesn't help a whole lot, does it? And it's only a three damage attack. Well, she might be able to get some damage in and, and kill that one, hopefully. So yeah, we'll, we'll still do that. So three damage and no other way to get health. No, okay. So three damage. We'll start with the non-elite. Three damage. Four damage, which three shield is enough to kill that one. 
and three damage for five damage, and that one gets by, I believe. And this guy's now immobilized, not that he was going to move anyways. Okay, that burned that one. And then she's got to heal two, she'll heal herself. And now the Sunkeeper goes. So the Sunkeeper no longer has anything adjacent, and so we'll just attack. Let's see, do I want to... Well, the Flame Demon is going to hit both of them, so probably best to do that. So we'll do a two damage attack muddle against this guy. Plus two is four. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter because they have four shield. Okay, and then the top is useless. Okay, next is the Flame Demon, and the Flame Demon is going to attack both of them, starting with that one. And it's going to attack for three damage, muddle. Two damage, muddle. One, two, okay, and then attacking the Tinker for plus zero or plus zero. So three damage to the Tinker. Tinker is going to have to discard again. Earth Demon. They are attacking range. That one's dead. This one will prefer the Tinker because she was quicker. So that is three damage to the Tinker. Two damage to the Tinker, which she can't handle. Oh, this kind of sucks. Um, I don't think you're going to get the chest there, Tinker. Um, you need to get rid of two cards. Probably one of your heal tops, I think. And maybe the attack three here. Okay. That really sucks. Um, I mean, we can still probably finish it. That's not the big deal. It's just trying to get her that, that last one. But So that's the flame. That's your theme. And now the Spellweaver was long resting. So Spellweaver gets this back. And discards that one for these two. And that's the end of the round. Spellweaver's doing that. Tinker is long resting. Or do we want her to make her short rest? I would really like to get those jumping boots back and at least have a chance of getting that. She's only got uh, three cards left, right? So if we get that move four in two, one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, she can't make it now. She had three cards left, two turns essentially. She can't make it. So we'll just assume that she's going to not get it. And give her two nice last rounds. So we'll probably do this with the poison and get you out of there. To help us kill some stuff. And Mr. Mind Thief, you're down to a few cards as well. That's your move heal. That's probably okay. Okay, so... This summon, what do we do with you? Probably run up and tank this. Spellweaver's gonna grab this, or try to. Well, she's only gonna move two, so she won't be able to get it yet. Um, Spellweaver, or Sunkeeper, what do we want with you? Our big, well, you know, this might actually not be a bad, a bad time to do this. And then heal as well. Because that flame demon's not going to move, and this is a pretty big attack. And Mind Thief, um... There aren't any ne negative conditions on him anymore. One, two, three, four. You can move four and get him, though. Yeah, um... This would be a nice attack top. I mean, that's my biggest attack right now, is a three. There won't be any negative conditions, though. Move three with this. One, two, three, attack, stun it. Keep it locked down. Next turn, run up and whack it, melee. You do have uh, another turn or two with that if you need to. But So far, you've only taken short rest, which is good. You've only gained four experience, which is good. Um... And you should have aggressor as well. So, okay, I think we're gonna go with that. So the Tinker cannot get her goal, which is so sad, but acceptable. Uh, no more fire demon. Earth demon, moving, attacking. Okay. 
And you're also just moving attacking. Okay. So we get to go first. The pet here is going to go here. Um, actually, that pet is going to take off from the Tinker, apparently. He can't move, though, so it's not a big deal. So we just don't need to be next to him. Sunkeeper. We're going to use the bottom of this. Range 3, 5 damage attack against this guy. Trying to just get rid of him. 5 damage, so after 4 shield, 1 gets by, and we generate light. God, that sucks. Oh, that's too experienced, though. Shit. I gotta keep an eye on that. Um, that's actually a burn card. And then a heal. Does someone need to heal? Tinker needs a heal. Mind Thief needs a heal, too. Um, oh, you know what? There's, there's three retaliate, so... I forgot about the retaliate being this close. I'll heal myself. Okay. So, this heals off the retaliate damage I just took. Okay, uh, that was... Oh wait, the Sunkeeper went last. Shit. Well, anyway. Uh, Tinkerer goes next. Sorry. Uh, Tinkerer attacks poison, so there would have been one more damage on it because of the poison. Tinker's attacking for two damage poison to it. Minus one, yeah. So so the poison was not been on there. It would have been one more damage from the, the Sunkeeper here. And generates Leaf, which means you push, but there's nothing adjacent to you. And then Tinker has a move four, so one, two, three, four. Wait, she has move four with jump, doesn't she? No, we didn't long rest. That's right. One, two, three, four. Okay, Spellweaver. I was just getting too excited with the Sunkeeper that we just did it. Spellweaver's going to move two. And then recover her cards. This is what I mean. If you're uh, very conservative with the Spellweaver, she just got a refresh. So she's at six, seven cards and everybody's almost dead, right? <laughs> um, so I think... Well, she, she's she got to get the chest next turn, but... So that's the Spellweaver. The Flame Demon's gonna go. The Flame Demon's going to attack the uh, the Sunkeeper for three damage. Four damage. So minus two is eight. I said eight, please. Okay. And generate fire. Okay, and then. Wait, the Mind Thief was supposed to go. And stun this guy. So, never mind. Boy, I'm playing way out of order here. I apologize for that. So this goes back on top. And generates ice, which we did. So the Flame Demon skipped his turn, okay. Oh yeah, I moved the, the summon, I just didn't do the Mind Thief thing. Earth Demon goes, nothing to attack, so that's the end of the round. Okay. There's a lot of elements on the board. Sunkeeper, with all those elements, what are you to do? Well, unfortunately for the Sunkeeper, do a melee it. Well, you know, it's only two damage for this. Maybe I will just have the Sunkeeper run up and melee it. Uh, that's the one I was trying to get back, so no. Okay. So we'll have the Sunkeeper run up and melee it. Use up the light. This will be a 5 damage advantage attack, so the Sunkeeper should be able to kill the Flame Demon here. Uh, we'll have the Spellweaver go whenever, really. And um, I don't think you can melee or heal anything, so we'll just do this. Mind Thief will make it go invisible or something and tinker that is your last turn okay almost done well we gotta deal with the earth demon yet we haven't haven't touched him yet mind the okay so what are you doing you're attacking all adjacent enemies okay cool Hopefully you'll be dead by then, and you're moving extra and attacking, okay. So starting with the Mind Thief, this guy is going to run up and whack it for 2 damage. 2 damage. And poison. Uh, 
All right, and then the Mind Thief goes for sure, for real this time. The Mind Thief goes. We'll make the Mind Thief go one, two, three. And loot. And generate dark. Okay, Mind Thief Tinkerer is next. Tinkerer, you. Uh, I forgot to mark that the Flame Demon is poison. Flame Demon is poison. You're going. That one's also already poison. Hmm. Did this pet take any damage yet? No, I don't think so. Uh, well, we'll do a th two damage attack against this guy. Maybe we'll kill it. Er. No, we'll let the Sunkeeper do it. We'll do two damage against this guy. Plus one, three, so four with the poison. One, two, three, four. And we generate Leaf. And then we'll move two and heal the Sunkeeper. We'll heal the Sunkeeper from the, the one that he sacrificed for that, okay? Alrighty then. Next is the Sunkeeper. So the Sunkeeper is going to use this as a move to get this coin. The Sunkeeper will take two damage for trap. And then the Sunkeeper, luckily this is his seventh experience, so this is all that's going to matter. Um, five damage advantage against this guy. So it's either plus zero or plus zero. So five damage, six with this, minus two for the shield, and that one dies. And there's no retaliate because he died. Sweet. All right, that's the Sun Keeper. Now the Earth Demon goes. The Earth Demon's going to whack this thing for two damage. Three damage. I forgot. It has like, what, five? Six. So I'll put a damage token on it. It has three health left. Uh, the Spellweaver goes. Spellweaver's going to grab the chest. And... What the hell does that mean? Random item design, I think? I think that means random item design. Let me just check that here. I'm on page 14. Number 11. Random item design. Yep, that's what that means. Okay. Okay, uh, so random item is good. And then you are healing, but you're full already, and there's nothing in range, so I'll just call it good. Spell Weaver, Flame Demon is dead. Alright, that's the end of the round. So, one more round. Tinkerer, we'll just make you a long rest because you got nothing else to do. Spell Weaver, your biggest move is three, and I doubt you'll be able to do anything, so we'll just say you do this. The Mine Thief, be conservative, just make him long rest so we can, eh, this is going to be the last round, so I'll probably don't need that. And do we want to take this back, because we'll actually use it as a top this time, we'll go really late, and can you get there? Yeah, you'll need the move for. so we'll do this, ah, yeah, we'll move there. So you're going to go super late, and, okay, and then Sun Keeper, what do you have left? That's probably your biggest attack. And it's going to take you one, two, three move to get there. So we could burn this and we have enough stuff left over that... Oh, that'll give us an experience though. Um, just move to bless then. Bless and strength and everything. So that way if it doesn't die this turn, then we can do it all next turn. Okay. Spellweaver Earth Demon goes second. Interesting. Spellweaver goes first. Spellweaver is just going to move one, two, three. Earth Demon is going to whack for two damage to the uh, summon again. Four damage. All right. Well, the Earth Demon killed the summon then. Next is my Sun Keeper. The Sun Keeper has a move two, which is just a move one. And well, should we get the coin? <laughs> You know what, I think I'm going to take the damage and get the coin. So that's two more damage, and then we can bless and strengthen one ally in range three, which would be this, but that's one, two, three. Mm. Yeah, I think we'll still do that. Okay. 
All right, well, we'll do that. And then the Mine Thief, you get to go. Oh, one, two, three. And you're going to whack it for three damage. Miss! Oh, that's not good. And then the Tinkerer does the long rest, which doesn't matter because she'll be done after this, so end round. Tinker is done, so we'll just keep calling her long resting. Spellweaver, you might actually get to uh, to play, I guess. Mind Thief, we're going to make you go quick. Uh, that one card should have gone to active. And Sunkeeper will short rest. Or should we long rest? Let the Mind Thief take care of it. Mind Thief should be able to take care of it. What sort of movement do you got? I think you've only got that move three, right? And then this move four. I guess you got a couple movements. Um, with a move three or move four, one, two, well, this is gone. Move two, you could get here. Move three, you could go to the trap and do that. Just take all the trap damage. Not to mention you're taking two for going over this again, so you'd be you'd be hurting pretty hard there, unless you heal yourself first. <laughs> oh, Sunkeeper. Do we want a long rest? Would the extra two... Well, the extra two would allow me to go here, and then it'd be two, one, two, three, if the Mind Thief wasn't here. If the Mind Thief was here. If I get that move for So, uh, we'll make the Sunkeeper long rest this turn, then. And I think that's everybody. Earth Demon is not moving and not attacking all that hard. Okay. Spellweavers first. You gotta move two. And the Spellweaver takes two damage for the hazardous terrain. Nothing to attack, so that's all you're doing. The Mind Thief is next. We got two attacks. We got a bottom attack, top attack. This is a ice. One damage and it's muddled. So it's zero, so it's one. Two damage with poison. And then we do this top as a base, and do 2 damage, 4 damage, 5 with poison, and there we go. Good. Alright, so that's everything there. We'll read the conclusion, then we'll do a little bit of a summary. As the final demon in sight screams and dissipates into the wind, you fall to your knees, thankful that the assault has stopped. Very interesting. The voice appears deep inside your head, clawing at your brain with its words. You interlopers are unexpectedly powerful. I could certainly use your expertise to find something in our own plane. The red rock below you rumbles and cracks, and a fiery fissure opens at your feet. I open my realm to you. Come, let me speak to you face to face. Having already made one leap of faith this day, you decide there's no harm in making another. The heat grows more intense as you descend, and scalding air billows up from behind, slowing your fall or builds up from below, slowing your fall. You land quite safely in what appears to be an underground temple. Before you stands a monstrous creature, horned and terrifying, holding a trident and standing on four hooved legs. The voice still resonates from inside your head. Brave and foolish. You should serve me well. There's an artifact of great power located in a forgotten temple along the Serpent's Kiss River. You can retrieve it for me. Or you can die here and now. So retrieving it for him leads to the Temple of the Elements, and then um, if you decide to attack him, it's Infernal Throne. And we will be eventually coming back to attack him anyways. But uh, So new locations, Infernal Throne, Temple of the Elements, Party Achievement, uh, Demon's Errand. Okay, so let's do a little bit of recap and summary here so I can write all this stuff down. So, Center of Fear Experience, we definitely got that. Barely. <laughs> I almost went over. Um, and you end up get three coins, so that's six gold. Oh, I wasn't exhausting the Sun Keeper. Shoot, I forgot to exhaust him. Um, the turn before, yeah, shoot. Uh, I'll have to <sighs> the turn before I could have lost three cards, and then short rested. I would have gone this turn and short rested, and no, that wouldn't have worked. Okay. Oh, so basically with the Sun Keeper, I should have, uh, I could have done, I could have killed the Sun Keeper. What am I talking about? I could have short rested, gotten the five and gone boom, boom, and killed myself.
I'm gonna say we did that because I'm dumb and forgot about this. So short rest, we would have done this, got these cards back, and then picked this move for and whatever. Forced him to exhaust and just go boom for six, boom for two, boom for two, and then Sun Cooper dies. So, okay. You only short rests, yeah, managed to do that. You got six coins, which is 12 gold. The Spellweaver Aggressor, yes, you definitely got that. And you got oh, two coins, so that's four gold. And you also only got two coins, so four gold. Yeah, unfortunately, you didn't get that. Oh, and then we also got a random item design, so okay, let's revert it back. That is not what I want to do. Revert it back here. Once it loads, of course. While it's doing that, I'm gonna get up Discord because me and my wife are gonna play next. <laughs> it thinks it's crashing, that's funny. There we go, okay. Uh, so we'll, I'll do cleanup some other time, but first let's uh, see what the random item design is, just out of curiosity. Dampening ring. Cool. One of the, uh, hello? Is it ring of dampening or something? Vampening ring. Another one of the items that we don't have in our main campaign, which is a little ironic. Um, okay. And you got two check marks, so you will get a perk. And you got six golds, you're up to nine. And the perk will probably do uh, scenario effects just because it's easy and quick and useful. Um, nine gold, two checks. Um, you got a check and 12 golds, so you're up to 23. You got, oh, and then I gotta mark the exhaust here. Uh, bloop. Uh, you got four gold and two checks. And you just got four gold. One, two, three, four. We unlocked number 21 and 22. Where's 22? It tells me where 22 is. Why don't I look it up? K8. Finish the element the power. So that will be our next destination is the Temple of the Elements. I think I. Uh, battle interface will. Oops, no. Game set up here. Delete map. Delete. Alright. Battle interface press up. I think we're good to go. I forgot to do this. Make her smaller. What was the other thing I need to remember to do? Remove crackling air. That's right. In fact, maybe the loot might not be a bad idea, because I never used this for what it is. Other than it's a fast card, so I won't keep it. All right, cool. Uh, so we're, we are going to wrap up this one here. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.